Studying in a vocational school is becoming one of the easiest ways to move abroad in 2022-2023. A lot of people are beginning to find success through studying in a vocational school. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a list of vocational schools across Europe that accept international students. You don't need a degree in so many of these schools and some of these schools will also not require IELTS. Some of the schools, especially if they are companies that offer these vocational programs, will actually pay you while you are studying. It's really interesting and if you stay with me to the end of this video, you will understand how to go about all these things that I'm going to share with you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Linda Aze. I'm a registered nurse and I currently live and work in the United States. In this channel, I share information that will help you to study, work and thrive abroad. So if you're interested in any of those, be sure to join the family by subscribing and always come back for more. So guys, this is the list that I'm developing and I'll continue to add to this list when I come across the vocational schools that are accepting um, international students around the world okay so i will make it available in the telegram community as well and i'll recommend that if you have not joined the telegram community and you are interested in moving to any of these countries in 2023 it will be a good place for you to ask your questions and get those um doubts that you have clarified or answered okay so um first of all i will look at one of these and show you exactly what you have to be looking at when you are applying to any of the schools so the one i have tried to really look into the popular one that people are beginning to find success in from all over the world is the one in finland this school is called vermia vermia college and they have they accept international students and it's a free tuition school, which is really cool. So what you have to be focusing on is how to get the study visa, how to um, sponsor your air travel and all of that to Finland. And the tuition is taken care of by the school and they have really good programs and people are beginning to go to this school. In Vermeer College, I've gone through the frequently asked questions because I know that a lot of people will have questions and what, what they said is, what kind of educational background is required? They said, you need to have a qualification equivalent to finish basic education of nine years. And so you have like primary education, lower secondary education, higher secondary education certificate, general schools, um, school certificate those are the example what i know a lot of people will have their higher school higher secondary school education certificate so once you have that you are already in line okay what is the application period and how to apply it said application periods are organized twice a year in january uh, for studies beginning in august and then in august for studies beginning in january so this is um, November, ending of November. If you are interested in studying in August in Vermeer College, the application period is January. And my top tip is that if you are interested in any of the schools, because people are beginning to discover vocational schools, right? So if you are interested, it is good for you to apply early because, as you know, if you, it is jobs that you're applying for once the applications begin to come in they will start you know going through the application and you can imagine if they have a lot of people that are already qualified they will definitely start from those ones that as that submitted early so this is a school that people are already finding success in so mark it and begin to gather your documents study about where this school is so that once it is january and they are open then you start submitting your application asap duration of the studies is approximately three years so the qualification includes full-time studying as well as workplace education and training which is really the pack okay the workplace education and training so third year includes many work is education and learning so if you choose the right program at the end of your program you already have a good work history that you can actually use or a good you know practical skills that you can launch in any job so and then some other questions so how about the cost there is no tuition fee for the study so the school will provide the new students with appropriate working clothes and accessories so no tuition fees 
So where do you find more information about studying in Vermeer? You can find more information here. So um, how about the programs that you can actually apply for? So you have seen that it's just basic um, secondary school certificates you need. They did not mention anything about IELTS. And then you will need to have a residence permit, right? So for the program, you know you are qualified and there is no tuition fee. So how, how about moving to Finland? What other cost? What is the cost involved? So I want us to look at everything and see how I am also talking about this VEMI and that is how you also recite for every other school in this list. So you look at the frequently asked questions, the cost, you look at the program that you are interested in and the program requirements. So once you have ticked the three, then you go to the immigration part, right? So I went to the immigration part, you need the residence permit, you need to apply for Finland and Finnish um, residence permit. And then what is the cost? So that's the, the most important. What is the cost of this resident permit? It's 470. So that's what you need. So what is the requirement of that visa? Can you work and study? So I have also searched and noticed that you, you can actually um, study while you work with this resident. Um, while as a student, you can work up to 30 hours, which is almost equivalent to full-time job, which is really cool, right? So, um, uh, first of all, let's go there. It said you are allowed to work in Finland with certain restrictions. They said it means that in addition, you may work in paid employment for a maximum of 30 hours per week, both during studying and during holiday as well. Because I believe that previously they were allowing people to work more during the holiday, but they said they can no longer allow that as from April of this year. But 30 hours, guys, if you are still studying and working, it is actually a good number of hours to work, which is really cool. So how about other things that you need to be able to be granted this uh, residence permit? You need to have sufficient funds. So you must have at least 560 euros at your disposal every month to be able to pay for your accommodation, food and other needs. So you must have sufficient funds for living during the entire period of your, your residence permit. So the number of years or number of years that your school is going to um, require then you need that number you need that amount of money but again note that since they are going to be allowing you to work as well so if you raise funds for studying you may be able to actually pay back or you may be able to like look after yourself pay for your accommodation every month so this is 560 i believe is something that will help you to live comfortably every month but again um, if you're working 30 hours, I believe this is possible for anyone in Phoenix. I did not live in Phoenix, but that is my assumption, okay? And then the tuition fee is going to be different. So in this case, the tuition fee, there is no tuition fee. Then you need insurance as well. As a student, you must personally cover the cost if you become ill in Finland. So in order to get the resident place, you must take out private insurance and we cover your medical and pharmaceutical so read more about insurance here it's how about family so are you able to travel with family if you are granted a residence permit for studies your spouse and children can be granted a residence permit on the basis of family ties guys this is really really cool so you can also move with family but remember for every family member that you move with you also need to show proof of funds so guys it's a free tuition and everything but remember that immigration and visa is one big aspect as well so remember even everything I, like when people say you can move to a country free of charge and everything remember that there is um there is an immigration aspect as well that you need to meet okay so how about the application process when you're applying for the first time you need to submit your application then processing supplementing or cancelling your application so at some point you may be able to like provide more information additional documentation and everything so if you don't get the visa you, you also have the option of appealing the visa as well so guys so this is the resident permit for studies so this is the whole process from i'm um, getting admission to everything when you eventually graduate so the second school that i want to show you that is also in finland 
it's called finance future so this finance future is very interesting they said finance future is offering international youth opportunity to graduate from a finished vocational school for free you can develop your professional skills apply for well-paid jobs while studying and have thousands of jobs available to you after graduation so in finland vocational education and training are held in high regard qualified and competent teachers flexible qualifications strong employment prospects and eligibility and eligibility for further studies are the reasons that make vocational education an attractive choice so here they have um they they offer their own program in Finnish language but they are going to offer you that program as part of the studies okay so if you apply for any of their uh, for any of their program first of all they will walk you through um, you have a Finnish language program that you need to complete and then you go for your vocational studies so if you want to continue your career in Finland I believe this is really really cool okay so um, they have interesting programs they have a practical nurse vocational qualification in social and, and healthcare they also have vocational qualification in cleaning and property services they have vocational qualification in restaurant and catering so this is for chair they also have um, mechanical engineering and production technology vocational they also have a um, what do you call this one uh, restaurants and catering i think we've seen this one so guys this is really really cool they have amazing programs not saying actually you can you can start your nursing journey here in finland as well but the only difference in this one is that the program is going to be in Finnish language okay so um this is someone that did a, a, a practical nurse program that moved to finland from nepal and Again, you can end, you know, without tuition and accommodation fees. How you can earn a practical nurse degree in Finland without tuition and accommodation fees? Ah, uh, goodness me! This school is also really, really cool. So you want to check this out? This is the school number two. So I also have another school. This school is in is in Australia they also have amazing amazing opportunities for people this one is in Adelaide in Australia is called the Canterbury Technical Institute that's my number three they have a lot of sea people that move from Italy from England from Brazil and they have you what you need to do go to this place go to their courses and find a course that actually resonates with you that you feel you'll be able to to study so they have flexible courses but make sure the one you're applying for they are actually accepting international students okay so they have amazing amazing for business they have management courses they have project management courses Make sure you are intentional when you are picking any of these courses. You don't want to just study. Make sure you are studying the one that will allow you to get a job, not just in that country, but any other country as well. Okay. So this is the number three. That is the Canterbury Institute in Australia. Canterbury Technical Institute. Okay. So um, they also... And if for each of these course, remember you also go to their visa requirement and everything. First of all, go to the course requirement if you are qualified and then go to the visa requirement. And then if you are somebody that has family, check whether you can move with family and check the cost of the whole thing and actually know if it's something that you can do. Those are the first three. And then I have a lot of well, another one in Japan. This one is in Tokyo. Another one is in Lithuania, another one is in Germany, and then I've talked about the one in England, Finland. There are a couple of them in Ireland as well. So for all these other schools, you just um, continue to explore them. For the Tokyo one, if you click on this link, if you click on this link and go to this page, usually it will redirect you to the research page. But then you have to click on the first one that is highlighted, this one, and then it will take you to the official website. Here, there are different schools, but the good thing is that if you go to their junior colleges or 
their bachelor's degree, you notice that their acceptance is just high school certificate and most of them will require that you, you while you're studying, they will expose you to the field. Another interesting one is the one in Germany. So the one for Germany is really interesting. If you go to this, uh, to this portal, it has everything like they said, they talked about uh, what is vocational training? Do I qualify for vocational training? So here is a place that you can actually explore and find so even companies that has vocational programs you can get a job and then they will train you and most of the time that they will even pay you and you can travel with family and everything. The German one is really interesting and they are continuing to develop it because that way they can recruit and train at the same time. It's really cool. So if you go to this, their vocational training, you see everything that you need to know about the vocational training, including um, programs of study that you can apply for. Go and do this research by yourself. These are really, really places that you can find people are beginning to go to as well and some of these programs are offered in english some of them offer in German, but then many of them are beginning to offer their programs in english language as well okay so and this one is for lutania for some of the the links that i posted here some of them are actually in um in another language so um when you go to any of this link and it is in another language what you can do is just to to write um right click on it and go to translate to english and then it will be able to translate it to english for you especially if it is Lithuania, some german websites tokyo websites and all of that then you can always change it to the language okay so guys i hope you found this video helpful i've shown you at least um five of these i've opened the five of them so many of other ones sometimes if you go to their website it will be showing you like bachelor's degree and uh, postgraduate degree focus on the bachelor's degree if you do not have a degree yet those ones will allow you to apply with your um secondary school certificate then if you want to move with family be particular about the ones that strictly says that if it is um that you can act that you can travel to their country if it is a vocational school or companies if it is Germany companies that are offering vocational programs okay so if you have any question or if you want me to explain courses one at a time I believe that trying to explain everything in this video is going to make the video very long but if there is a particular school you are interested in and you want me to explain further then let me know in the comment section I'll be happy to do that in another video. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this very helpful, please give it a thumbs up so that many more people will be able to see this. And I wish you all the very best. Bye.